Hello, my gardening friends. We are sitting in a very small courtyard in the Calyx Garden. And if you're wondering why I wish to become a flash here amongst these beauties, well, that's precisely it. These lovely amaryllises decided to show up early for the holiday season. And I thought I'd share their brilliance with you. Why would I want to be selfish? And I'm not by nature selfish. So these three plants, um, this one was treated in the dark room. It came out of the dark room four weeks ago. And this is fairy tale, a staple in, in amongst our collection right now. But within two weeks of coming out of the dark room, fairy tale decided to start spiking and it grew very quickly. Now all of these four lovely blooms are fully opened and I consider it early version of my holiday chair, so I'm using all three to decorate and brighten my home. Now, this little one is really a special one in terms of a surprise. It is orange red. It's the first one that is blooming from seeds. And these seeds were planted, were sown two years ago. It's still in the original pot that I had transplanted the seedlings into. This is a six inch pot. There are at least 200 other such pots, but this is the only one that decided to show up. The bulb is relatively small, I thought, but when I saw orange red deciding to give me a very, very brilliant show for the holiday season, I was overjoyed. And that's part of the reason why Amaryllis is such a special plant. Now, not to be outdone, the tallest of the three is Vitatum. Uh, this one was not treated. Again, I considered it an immature plant and left it in the garden, earmarking it for uh, darkroom treatment in January or February in time for Mother's Day. But ah, uh, this really vigorous plant decided that it was going to show early for Christmas. And the three of them are quite a collection. They're lovely, aren't they? Come along with me and I'll show you where in the home they'll be placed so that they will get the right amount of light to continue growing and blooming for as long as possible. I'll place Vitatum in a very bright corner of the dining room where there are two windows, one facing west and the other facing north. The windows are filtered so the plant will not get direct sunlight, but it will receive very bright light throughout the day. And in this way, Vitatum will retain its really nice creamy white coloration. Fairy tail will be placed in this corner, a very small corner. She'll be nestled between a plant and a very nice sculpture. This area is about 15 feet from windows, so it gets medium to low natural light. And fairy tale, I've kept other plants there before, other fairy tales before, and it does very well in that lighting condition. And orange red will be situated in this eastern corner, and we'll get about two or three hours of early morning sun. And again, it's a favorite place for me to put these bright colored amaryllis and they do very well in medium to bright light conditions. So there you have it. This is essentially a lead up to the video I plan to do in four weeks. So when the vast remainder of the other plants, of the other bulbs that were treated, should be in the very, very peak of performance. So until that time, I am Thelma in the Calyx Garden saying thanks for watching this very short clip and we'll see you in the next video.